and in today's video I'm going to show you how to field strip the new 1911 from Springfield, the Garrison. So stay tuned. Alright guys, we have the Garrison 1911 close up here. What you want to do before you take it down is you want to make sure the gun is unloaded. So we're going to hit our magazine release and drop the magazine out of there. And then we're going to check the chamber, make sure there's nothing in there, which there isn't. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger to release the hammer. And the first thing that we're going to do is it's a little bit different than the striker fire pistol. So we're going to start on the end of the barrel here and your cap, you're going to push that in. And as you do so, you're going to rotate your barrel bushing clockwise. So push that in and then rotate it. And then this is under spring tension, so be careful because that'll want to shoot out. And then we're gonna rotate the barrel bushing the other way until it stops. And then we can lift this right out of here. We're gonna take the barrel bushing out, just like that. And you could take this cap off because it's eventually gonna fall off anyway. So turn it back to the slide. We're gonna pull this back to where this little notch meets up right here and you'll kind of see it where they line up. Those are lined up. There's a little pin here. You could just push this slide lock through. And it'll come right out. And now you could push your slide forward and it comes off the frame. So that's about as far as you need to take the frame down. And now we can lift our recoil spring and guide rod out. And then our barrel, you want to make sure that the link is facing forward and then we can lift and take slide the barrel out of the front of the gun, just like so. And that is about as far as you need to take this apart to do your standard cleaning. And to put it back together, we're gonna reverse that process. So we're gonna take our slide and our barrel, make sure that bushing is forward so you can fit that through there. Push it all the way back. Now we're gonna take our recoil spring and guide rod, put that through there. And you'll see that there's this little U-notch right here. That is where what's gonna sit on the barrel. So make sure that side is down. And we're gonna have our barrel link facing up now because what's gonna happen is when we put this back on the slide, those holes are gonna line up and that's what holds it in place. So now just line up the slide and frame, slide those back on together. And now we're gonna line this notch up with this opening here and then once that's in the center we're going to take this piece here and we're going to enter it there and there's a little detent right here so you're going to want to be careful not to scratch your slider frame but you're going to want to push this in kind of down and up we'll need a little bit of force to get that detent back but once that's in there make sure it's all the way out this will come out the slide a little bit and now we're going to take our slide, push it all the way forward. And we're gonna come back here and take our barrel bushing, put that guy back in, all right, push it down to where it's all the way flush. We're gonna rotate it. Now we can take our cap, put it back on, and we're gonna push this down inside, put some tension on it, and then slide the barrel bushing back over and get that nice and lined up like so, and it'll kind of pop in place once it's locked. And now we can test, make sure everything's working. So run the slide a couple times. I like to pull the trigger, make sure that works. And then while I'm holding the trigger, rack the slide again and release it to make sure you have that release. And that is it. Put your magazine back in there and you're good to go. It's a little more involved than a striker fired pistol, but this is the common way that soldiers were doing this back in the day. So. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.